This one here tonight, yeah, is about sometimes success, you know, brothers. Success, yeah, is the best revenge sometimes, my brothers. Sometimes just be successful, brothers. Sometimes you got to think about the long-term picture. Do you understand? I know there's many ways you can get revenge or whatever, but brother, sometimes success is the best option, you get me, car? When you look at it, yeah, and the life that man's lived, yeah, I could say a lot of the haters, yeah, a lot of man names haters would rather man be sitting in jail now or like grabbing a strap and running them down left, right and centre and, and risking their life, do you get me? Like, do you get it though? These men will rather you do that rather than you be successful and achieve your goals and that, you get me? And I've personally gone through that in life, I can, I can speak on that, you understand? But there's been times where a man's been on that and like, the enemies are still trying to prosper, do you understand? A man's got his whole life wrapped around just like dropping people or trying to get to people or whatever these niggas are. Do you understand what I'm saying? But it's that now, isn't it? Like we got a six we gotta think as people now, success is the best thing in it. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Certain times. Certain times you have to just say to yourself, you know what I'm gonna achieve for my family and whatnot, you understand? Instead of letting another nigga play you like a puppet, you understand what I'm saying? Like, Cause a lot of niggas are playing a lot of niggas like puppets, you get me? Like playing on emotions. You get me? A man should be able to handle his emotions, you get me, and not show his emotions, you understand? Real talk. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Anchor my people, you don't know. Levels 95. Another little thing here yeah, I wanted to say as well, I wanted to get this little thing like correct car. I see one thing here. Yeah, in the rascal art news and that yeah where my man had a crossbow and shot his rascal art woman in the belly and that with a crossbow his ex-wife and that with a crossbow yeah and the rascal art the new husband was there and that and i was thinking the story sounds a bit mad to me because i was thinking you as a husband you're there and your missus is getting in front of you and the man's got the crossbow and you let it shoot your woman and this all happened from the garden i'm hearing that you sighted the man yeah from the garden, yeah, I ran into the yard and then, like, you made your, 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 your missus get licked. Come on, man, that's not a manly way to move, my brother. Like, you, you should have jumped on the man from the garden and disarmed him or at least took one in the gut and tried to disarm him. You get me? Disarm my man rather than letting your missus take that. And your missus had the baby in the ting, fam. Oh, fam, you're lucky that the baby survived, my brother. Like, you get me, car, the woman dead now. You get me, RIP, the woman, but... The woman dead now and obviously like the baby just survived and you sh you could have handled that big man you should have risked your own life for that now like that's how i see it i'm not being funny or that or whatever but for you to run back into the yard and then your missus is getting in the way of that and the crossbow goes you should have disarmed him before that that was a silly one someone got to me in the comments asking me what do i think about it and that's what i think about it fam like i really think that it, it, the man should have just tackled the man out in the garden and took what even if he took a hot one you have to just take that hot one brother and disarm my man at least you know your missus and your kid is safe up in there brother you get me now i've done talked about these mad guys that can't leave women alone brother like you get me you and a woman break up walk away that's what the, these men don't know how to walk away yeah walk the fuck away yeah now you're gonna spend all your time in jail because you took a crossbow and it took a life fucking idiot but still, in this one there, i gotta, I got to kind of say the husband should have cooked a bit more food still, car. Like, that food, the, you, didn't, you didn't cook nothing, bruv. You just, like, it's like you watched your rascal like, missus get jumped with a crossbow. Like, it's stupid, bro. Like, the man never got bat up on nothing. You never attacked the man or nothing. Yeah. Food for thought still. Food for thought. But anyway, that's my take on that little thing, 95.